What is up guys, John here aka Bruce Lee. I'm a kickboxing teacher and Muay Thai fighter here in Canada and today we're doing another breakdown. This one is a recommendation for one of y'all. It's a Jet Li's Fist of Legend. Uh, we did an earlier fight but now we're doing Jet Li versus Yasuaki Kurata. I hope I said that right. Uh, regardless, <laughs> this is the breakdown. Let's go. So by the way guys, we're going to be rating this scene based on two criteria, how realistic the martial arts scenes are and how entertaining the scene is. Oh, that was cool. I wonder if that was a real rock. <laughs> how entertaining the scene is since, you know, realism isn't really like their main concern, it's going to be entertainment, right? So I like to balance out those two things. Okay, now let's, okay, here we go. Here's the fight, everybody. Jesus. Whoa, this guy can fly. Oh, Jet Li gave up a lot of ground there unnecessarily. Oh, very... This guy is very, like, uh... It reminds me of Taekwondo kicks, where he's, like, changing angles all the time. That double kick was cool. Totally works in real life. Like, Raymond Daniels done it. I've been trying to practice it, but uh, I'm not very good at it yet. <laughs> These guys' speed is really good. Nice slips, staying tight. Very boxing style from Jet Li. He's adding in some elbows. It's a good knee. I wonder if they have some Y Tai background for this scene because uh, the, the, all that stuff was really good. The only thing I didn't think was too good is that like Jet Li was holding the guy by the collar and pulling down. I don't find that as effective as like wrapping your neck, uh, wrapping their neck with like your elbows and your forearms and really getting that that good leverage in. But some boxing, some Western stuff. What kind of style is this? Oh, he's gonna mimic him, I think. Very good stuff. Oh, he's, he's mimicking the elbows and the knee. He got the clinch in. Not a perfect clinch. But uh, that's pretty cool. And you know what I like about this scene, you guys? That, like, what this guy's done is that he's basically adapted the, the per, like, Jet Li style instantaneously. So it's pretty disheartening, right? Like, when you train, like, years to get, like, a technique down, you face a master and he copies you and does it, like, as good or better. It's pretty, <laughs> you know, it shows a lot of, like, natural talent from this man's character. But also, like, in real life, that would be very disheartening if someone could just, like, pick up on your moves and essentially break you down. Uh, the one thing I was gonna say here, guys, that the clinch wasn't too tight here. So watch, this part is pretty good, like nice and quick. And then as he gets in the uh, after the knee, he'll go into a clinch. It's a very loose clinch. I don't like to do that. I like to be like I like to have my hips. You see, like how he's kind of like reaching out far. I like to have it in like the elbows pressing against the shoulders. Pull them in, get your hips close, and you can actually. Like, really, like, you can whip him around, you can pull him down. Like the, the proper tight clutch is a lot more, uh, it's a lot more, like, uh, control in this. But, you know, not, not, some of the karate style knees, they kind of do it like that instead. So it's different styles for sure. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If so, please leave a like, because it means a lot to me and supports the channel big time. And please consider subscribing so I can hang out with you again. For now, let's get back to the video. And then Jet Li's got some head putts going on. That was cool. Let's watch that. Bang. And he flips up. That's cool. I'm sure it has no real power, but that's cool. <laughs> Still light on his feet. Interesting. So what, what's also neat about this, you guys see how like a Jet Li is like balancing around. That's not really seen too much in uh, you know, this era. That's more like a Western style thing. And another interesting thing about this guy copying his technique is that like you think you have an advantage, right? Like you're like, oh, like I'm going to bring in this style that no one, no one here knows. And then when they're able to pick it up really quick, it's just, you know, <laughs> the advantage of like a surprise factor is gone. Nice double kick. He kind of stepped up on him and, and uh, launched another side kick. That actually does work in real life. It's good crescent kick. I just want to see the contact point again. Oh, okay. Look, he hit him with his calf because obviously you don't want to knock the guy out. But if you hit him with the heel, that could do some serious damage. Especially like sharp part of the heel against the temple. 
Oh, the wind. Oh, the wind's getting in his eyes and stuff like dust. Wait, the, the, the subtitle is so fast. What did I say? Are your eyes all right? That was nice of Jet Li to be like, you know, let's just wait, man. What a nice guy. What? What? What's going on here? Maybe they can see through the uh, the blindfold a bit, but at least the dust won't get in their eye. Or if they're fully blind, like I've never tried this. Nice. That's interesting. It kind of reminds me of that Bruce Lee demonstration where they have like the the wrists on each other. This is cool. He shouldn't have grunted. Maybe he would have gotten away with it if he wasn't like. Right! <laughs> oh. Oh wait. Does anyone think that there's an advantage to like throwing like uh, a hay at someone when they already are blindfolded? Like, look at this. Oh, I guess it's just a distraction. Still, never mind. I thought I was trying to get stuff in his eye. I'm like, my dude, he's got he's got the thing on. But I guess it would just be uh, distracting either way. <laughs> this is a cool fight scene. I'm glad someone uh, mentioned uh, mentioned this to to bring it up on the channel. I don't know if that flip would work, but this is pretty insane fighting blindfolded. Oh, sneaky, sneaky tricks. Interesting. I wonder, I need to see if this sequence would work actually. So uh, Jet Li's going to try and do like an uh, uh, over, uh, over the back hip toss. So he grabs hold of the wrist correctly, looks like to me. And uh, one arm, one arm over uh, the sh uh, one arm over the shoulder, one hand on the wrist to pull over. And the guy, so that's what I was saying about the Muay Thai clinch. Where he realized, uh, you know, the big thing with these hip tosses or in the clinch or like a lot of the wrestling, the closer your hips are, the more control you're gonna have over someone else's body. And so, but like, oh, what the guy did is that like, he just separated that that uh, that distance, and now Jet Li didn't have the leverage uh, to pull him over. So that actually, I think, would work for sure. And the guy trips him. That kick up in the air is is. Very cool. I don't know if someone actually landed that in real life because it's so hard to like predict, but in principle it would work for sure. The very cool stuff, like a lot of hand play here. I've personally found like any like this wrist grabbing stuff where you're like, huh, huh. And then the guy like flips nine times. I find it never works the way you want it to. Like you can do like wrist manipulation stuff, but I never like I, I never see it happen like this and like Muay Thai or like uh, real like karate sparring or stuff like that. So I, I'm skeptical. Someone comment below if you think, you know, if you disagree. Arm lock is good. Left. So what Jet Li should be doing here for a rear naked choke if he wants to finish this fight is get the arm over and lock it in like this and just crank it because he's only got one hand here and the other hand on the uh, Jet Li's right hand is on this guy's right hand. He's pulling the arm down. You actually don't need to control the arms too much if you can lock your hands in like this. Just control the body so he can't squirm out. So let's see what he does. Yeah, I see like that's the guy. The guy could just like turn side to side and squirm out of this too, right? Ooh, I like that. I, whole, I like that whole sequence. So, uh, when the when Jet Li is kind of like in the air here, he tries to do that that kick up. He like he did like two seconds ago, but the guy now knows to predict it. Like, you know, that makes it like feel more realistic to me. I don't think anything is hurting the guy's legs for real. Let's see. Let's let's back it up. What's happening to his legs? He's just. He might be doing an ankle lock or an ankle crank on it. The guy takes his blindfold off. Why? What's going on? Does he think it's a tie? <laughs> that guy's speed. I know, obviously, like for the movie, they probably sped him up or like. Use jump cables in the initial like jump maybe potentially right like there's one that I'm sure was a jump cable not all of them were but like for this guy's age in real life and the character like that very impressive athleticism. He 
He's lost? Interesting. <laughs> Wrong, young man. I like that. I will stop it there, you guys. Is uh, like, with this line, just the best way to beat opponents to do it with a gun. Like I like that a lot. Like I, you know, especially like uh, since starting up this channel, I hear a lot of different opinions about martial arts. Of like, you know, like it, only the kill shots matter. Like you know, unless you can kill someone on the street, like it doesn't matter. Like I, I hear a bunch of different stuff, but I like this guy's uh, sensibility here, and that's what I. For me, that's what martial arts is all about, right? It's about like self -de development, uh, discipline, and you know your own life lessons and harnessing the power of your body if your goal was just to like to dominate someone or attack someone or kill someone you could just wield a gun or you know you could you could get six guys to gang up on them or like you know what i mean like if your main only objective is to win a fight or to beat someone up or for your own ego like for me that's just not what martial arts is about uh excellent scene uh let's stop it there so that was it guys for fist of legend this is our second reaction on it if you want to watch the other one uh, i didn't react to the earlier fight scene but before we get into the breakdown, question of the day. I want you guys to comment below what you think the proper, let's say, mindset of a martial artist is. Is it, a, is it like a, you know, like Conor McGregor, let's beat him up, like I'm, I'm badass, I'm a gangster, or you would prefer like a kind of the humble, uh, learned martial artist, like you know what I mean? Like Jet Li's playing a hothead here, and the other guy is playing a bit more of like a toned down, maybe it's because he's older. Like, what do you think is better for a martial artist in terms of principles, right? Like the cool, calm, cool, calm, collected, or the hot-headed, you know, let's blast them, bang, rock them, sock them, all right? Uh, anyways, breakdown here, realism versus entertainment factor. I'm gonna say realism here was pretty high. Uh, There's a few things with like the clinches and the knees, uh, like mainly grabbing each other that I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, so I wanna give this an eight and a half or maybe even a nine. Let's say eight and a half uh, out of ten, like very realistic stuff, and they use a lot of like good tactical things. What I mean by tactical is that like, you know, if, if Jet Li did try to do the same thing twice, it didn't always land twice necessarily. Uh, so I like that a lot. The only I'm giving that off a half point because I thought some of it with the clinch I wasn't crazy about, and like the 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 grappling. The other point is I just don't think uh, fighting blind. I know it's for the sake of the movie, guys, but. I just don't think fighting blindfold you'd be effective as they were, especially with the 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 wind rustling a bunch of leaves and like messing around with your hearing. Like I really don't think you can sense someone uh, with the the wind so harsh. Maybe in like a maybe in a, just a regular room where you can hear footsteps a bit better, it's a bit more quiet. I could believe that a bit more, but that was a bit of a stretch for me. But overall, like the martial arts itself, very very effective, very real. Uh, so if you guys watched this back in the day in 1994 and you're wondering if you know if martial arts is really like this i do think it is i do think it is especially in the philosophy uh entertainment factor i think it's an easy 10 uh it's a bit like it's not this this scene's fault but it could took a while to get the fight started but i guess i just picked the, like a long version of the scene uh but the actual martial arts itself are uh, so fun to watch it felt so real and so immersive and that for me is the way to go uh again guys comment below question of the day you know, cool, calm, collected, learned philosophy, or kind of more of like the modern, less like, you know, like a UF, like early day UFC mentality. Comment below what you think a martial artist should have. Maybe it's a bit of both. I don't know. All right, you let me know. And uh, lastly, guys, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video or saw some value in it because I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it big time. And subscribing means I'll see you again. Uh, and that's it. Bruce Lee is out. I'll see you next time.